The iconic Coors Field. This is home to the Colorado Rockies. It's also familiar ground to a two-time All-Star, Vinny Castilla. And as Vinny told us himself, this is familiar ground, but there's a story behind all those home runs. It starts in Oaxaca, Mexico, and it's full of Mexican heritage and childhood dreams. Let's go talk to Vinny now, come on. Oh my gosh, Vinny, it is such a pleasure to finally meet you. You've been a household name in my house, thanks to my dad for many, many years, and here we are. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I love to be here in Coors Field. This is, this is my house. I love, I love the Rockies, I love the game, and I mean, baseball is my life. So yes. I'm happy, I'm happy to be in a, in a ballpark, in a uniform, and helping the young kids. Of course, well, Vinny, take us back 30 years ago. Your baseball career starts with the Rockies. Do you remember that day and what was it like? When it was 93, I remember it was expansion team. Uh, I was in, uh, with the Atlanta Braves organization before I come here. So I come here in the expansion draft. So that, that, was, uh, that was the best thing that happened to me. Because mm -hmm. I come here and uh, they give me the, uh, a fair shot uh, to become a major league player. So I, uh, I have my best years here in, in Denver. I love these fans. This could be it. It's over. The Rockies take a claim on victory number one in Major League Baseball history. And it comes before a Major League record opening day crowd of 80,227. Listen to the crowd. Major League Baseball has arrived in Denver. I'm, uh, I'm very happy uh, to, uh, to all the support the, these fans give me through my career. I, they love you. We love you. So, <laughs> Thank you. 1995, Coors Field opens for the first time against the Mets. Rockies won that game. Do you remember that game? Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was a kind of rainy day, and uh, uh, Dante Bichet hit a mm -hmm. walk-off homer and uh, an, an extra innings. I don't remember what inning was, but uh, that was extra innings, and that was uh, like one of the great, greatest moments for the Colorado Rockies organization. Absolutely. Well, a two-time all-star player here with us today. Not only that, but you've had many highlights. Uh, the Latino Hall of Fame, <coughs> the Colorado Baseball Hall of Fame. With all of that, what is still one of your favorite memories? One of my, fam my favorite memories as a Rocky was uh, in 1995 when we clinched uh, the wild card to go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That was uh, after only three years in the league. The Rockies go to the playoffs, so that was a, a great uh, accomplishment for the organization. One, one pitch, ground ball to first. Colorado's got it. They've done it. The Rockies have done it. Their wildest dreams have come true by way of the wild card. So that was one, one of the the best moments for me, um, celebrating with these with these fans that uh, the wild card thing to go to the playoffs. What an incredible time. Okay, now Vinny, take us to your childhood. You were from Oaxaca, Mexico. Yes. I know that because my dad knows everything <laughs> about you. What was it like growing up there and when did you know baseball was your thing? You know, um, growing up uh, in, in my hometown, my dad, uh, he loves the game too. So he played baseball uh, in the leagues in, in, in Oaxaca. So when he go to practice or when he go to his games, uh, he always take me and my brother to the games. And that's when, when you start uh, when I start loving the game, uh, you know, when, when you're a little kid, uh, you, you're, uh, your idol is your dad. So yeah. I want to be like my dad, so my dad played baseball, so I want to play baseball like him. And uh, that's when I start loving the game. And then when I start growing up, I, I be playing baseball and I start noticing that I was uh, pretty good to play the game. And uh, that's, that's how it starts. And, you know, uh, go to the semi-professional team in, uh, in, in, in Oaxaca, and then some scouts see me there. and. Uh, is when they signed me to play pro ball in Mexico, and then the Atlanta Braves see me in one of those games and <laughs> signed me here for um, for uh, to, to come to come to, to America and play baseball. That's incredible. Mex uh, baseball in Mexico very different from baseball here, don't you think? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of passion there. Uh, I mean, I, I love I love it here too, but uh, in Mexico is a little different. It's more uh, you see the matracas or not <laughs> yeah. like that. The, the crowd is the different. Crowd, yeah. <laughs> A, a little bit more passion there, like uh, for uh, the way they show the emotions, uh, the fans, and so that, that's 
that's that's nice. It is okay. And my final question for you is: Out of 16 seasons, nine played right here in the Mile High City with the Colorado Rockies, and now you live here. What yeah. made you come back to Denver? I love Denver, man. I love this since I uh, since '93 that I come here. Uh, I mean, my wife here, my kids born here, and uh, I love the city. I love the people here, the fans. I think that I got the most loyal fans in, in yeah. the league uh, and uh, I mean I'm, 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 I'm very happy man it's a beautiful city you can see uh, the four seasons here uh, to the year yeah. so uh, I love it this is this, this, this is my house now well it was a pleasure to talk to you thank you so much everybody of course you know him a legend for our Colorado Rockies Vinny Castilla Oh, it was really great chatting with Vinny. And of course, shout out to my dad, who, who is a big fan. His name is Oscar, and he's watching all the way from Texas this morning. And thanks for the time, Vinny. And of course, go Rockies.